Welcome students. Today we are going to understand chapter 9 Beaks, Claws and Nests. And based on our understanding, we will do the book exercises and question and answer of this chapter. In this chapter we all will understand about different types of beaks in birds, different types of claws in birds, importance and types of nests. Students, other than animals like dogs, cats, cows and other big and small animals, you must have observed some flying creatures around you. These are birds. We always hear them chirping from one branch to another. These birds are indispensable part of nature as they are an integral part of the food chain. So students in this chapter will learn more about them. As we need food for our survival, similarly these birds also need to eat a lot of food as they require a lot of energy while flying. They do not have teeth, instead they have a bony tongue and beak to eat food. The beaks of birds differ according to the type of food they eat. Types of beaks There are basically six types of beaks observed in birds. Curved beak Short, strong and hard beak Strong, sharp and hooked beak Strong, chisel shaped beak Long and pointed beak Broad and flat beak Let's study about these different types of beaks in detail. First, curved beaks. You may find such beaks in parrots which help them to crack open seeds and nuts that have hard outer shells and eat the pulp of the fruit. It also helps the parrot to climb the trees. Second, short, strong and hard beak. These kind of beaks are generally found in sparrows, peacocks and pigeons. These beaks help them to bite and crack open the nuts and seeds they eat. They do this to make their food soft before eating. Third, strong, sharp and hooked beak. Such kind of beaks are found in eagles and owls which are also known as birds of prey or flesh eating birds. Their beaks help them to catch and kill their prey and to tear its flesh while eating. Eagles feed on animals like mice, rabbits and snakes while owls feed on mice and frog. Fourth, strong and chisel shaped beak. Such kind of beaks are found in woodpeckers which help them to make holes in the hard trunk of trees and take out insects hiding there. Fifth, long and pointed beak. Birds like hummingbirds and sunbirds have thin, long and pointed beak that helps them to pierce open the flowers to suck nectar from them. Some other birds like kingfisher and heron also have long pointed beaks that helps them to catch fishes from water. Sixth, broad and flat beaks. Birds like ducks, Swan and goose have this kind of beak with tiny holes on both sides that act as trainers. These birds take in muddy water containing insects, worms, fishes and small plants in it. The muddy water flows out through the holes on the sides of the beak, leaving the insects, fishes and plants inside. In this way, this type of beak helps these birds to feed on their food. The beak of toucan is longer than its body and so, it has air holes making it light in weight. Students, other than beaks, the birds have their feet and claw for catching and holding food. Birds also use them to build nests and for protection against enemies. Based on the claws, the birds are divided into six major categories. Perching birds, praying birds, climbing birds, scratching birds, wading birds and swimming birds. Let's understand these different types of birds in detail. First, perching birds. Birds like mynah, kingfisher, parrots, sparrow and crows have three toes in front and one toe at the back. These toes help the birds to hold on the branches firmly. This act of holding the branch of a tree is called as perching. These birds use their toes to perch or sit on high thin branches of trees without falling, even while sleeping. Next is praying birds. Birds like hawk, eagle and vulture have sharp pointed claws which are called as talons. These talons help them to grip small animals and tear their flesh while they feed on them. Third, climbing birds. The birds like woodpeckers and parakeets are climbing birds. They have two toes that point forward while the other two toes point backwards on each foot. The front toes point upwards while the back toes point downwards. 
They have sharp claws. Their feet help them to climb up the trees easily by clinging firmly. Fourth, scratching birds. Birds like ostrich and hens scratch the ground to dig out insects and buried seeds. They have strong feet with three toes in front and one toe at the back. These toes have sharp and hard claws to dig or scratch the ground and bring out buried insects, worms and seeds. Fifth, wading birds. These birds have long and spread out toes with the help of which they easily wade through muddy water without getting wet. Cranes and herons are wading birds. Sixth, swimming birds. Birds like ducks and swan have webbed feet which helps them to push the water back while swimming. Students, birds make nests when they have to lay eggs. The size of the nest varies according to the size of the bird and the number of eggs it lays. They abandon the nest when the chicks grow up and are able to fly. Birds like sparrows, crows and pigeons make nests which are of cup shape to prevent their young ones from falling. A weaver bird makes a nest which hangs upside down. They use twigs and grasses to build it. There is a hole at the bottom of the nest for the bird to enter. A tailor bird makes a nest using broad leaves. It makes small hole on leaves with its beak and then sews them together using pieces of thread which is generally plant fiber or spider's web. Partridges make a shallow nest in the ground. The nest is kept cozy and warm by filling it with dried leaves and grasses. A woodpecker makes a hole in the tree trunk and lines it with wooden chips to make it comfortable. A kingfisher digs out the tunnel on the river bank to make its nest. So students, in this way the explanation of this chapter is done. Before we move on to the book exercises, I request all my students to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you keep getting the notifications of the upcoming tutorials. Thank you students. Let's start with our book exercises. Question number 1. And circle the correct option. First part. Birds do not have mouth or beak. So here we will circle mouth. Birds do not have mouth. Instead, they have beak. Second part. Birds use their beaks to pick things or play. So here we will circle things. Birds use their beaks to pick things. Part third. Most of the birds have four or five toes. So here we will circle four. Most of the birds have four toes. Fourth, wading or swimming birds have long legs. So here we will circle wading. Wading birds have long legs. Part 5. Cuckoo or crow is a lazy bird. So here we will circle cuckoo. We all know that cuckoo is a lazy bird as instead of making its own nest, it usually lays its egg in a crow's nest. So here we will circle cuckoo. Question number 2. Identify the bird by observing the given beaks and claws. So students here we have to identify the bird by seeing either the beak or the claw which is given in the picture. Now the first picture we can see, this is the picture of an eagle. Students, many of us gets confused between an eagle and a hawk. So here you can see the image of a hawk. So the picture which is given in your book, that is the image of an eagle. Second image is the image of a kingfisher bird. Kingfisher bird is usually blue in color and it has got long pointed beak with the help of which it is able to catch fishes. Third is the image of a woodpecker bird tapping on the bark of the tree to take out the insects. Third image is the image of the claw of hen which is a scratching bird. And similarly, the fourth image is also the image of the claw of another scratching bird which is peacock. Question number 3. Give two examples of each. First, Praying birds. Praying birds are those birds which feed on other animals. For example, here I have written eagle and hawk. Second, scratching birds. Here I have written hen and ostrich. You can include peacock as well. Third, wading birds. Heron, crane. Fourth, perching birds. Sparrow, crow. Fifth, swimming birds. Swan, duck. Question number four. Differentiate between the following. First, perching and climbing birds. Perching birds have three toes in front and one at the back which help them to hold on the branch of a tree firmly. Whereas, climbing birds have two toes pointing forward and upward while the other two toes pointing backward and downward on each foot. They have sharp claws. 
Their feet help them to climb up the trees easily by clinging firmly. Some examples of perching birds are minas, kingfishers, sparrows. And some examples of climbing birds are woodpeckers and parakeets. Second, wading birds and swimming birds. Wading birds have long legs with spread out toes. And some examples of wading birds are cranes and herons. Whereas, swimming birds have webbed feet which help them while swimming. Some examples are ducks and swan. Third, nest of a tailor bird and weaver bird. Tailor bird's nest. A tailor bird makes a nest using broad leaves, while a weaver bird makes a nest using twigs and grasses. A tailor bird sews the leaves with its needle-like beak using plant fiber or spider's web, whereas a weaver bird's nest hangs upside down. There is a hole at the bottom of the nest for the bird to enter in the same. Question number 5. Answer the following questions. Question number 1. Why do birds have beaks? Answer. Birds have beaks to eat food, to make their nest and to protect themselves. Different birds have different types of beaks according to the kind of food they eat. Question number 2. Why do birds have different types of feet and claws? Answer. Birds have different types of feet and claws for catching and holding food. They also use them to build nests and for protection against enemies. Question number 3. What are talons? How are they useful to praying birds? Answer. Praying birds like hawks, eagles and vultures have sharp and pointed claws which are called talons. These talons help them to grip small animals and to tear their flesh. Question number 4. Why do birds build nests? Answer. Birds build nests when they have to lay eggs. The size of the nest varies according to the size of the bird and the number of eggs it lays. Next is hawks. Which special features of a bird's body helps it to fly? Answer. The feathers and hollow bones make the body of the bird very light and thus helps it to fly. So students, in this way the explanation and the book work of this chapter is done. Hope you learned something new in today's class. Do give a thumbs up and don't forget to share this tutorial with your classmates. Let's meet in the next video. Until then, stay happy and keep learning.